every human that has ever breathed, has ever been alive, will stand before the Lord one day and give an account of their life. He has great desire that you and I would be complete, that you and I would be ready for that day that we're going to stand before Him and give an account. We want to have an ongoing conversation with the Lord about the things in our life now, not wait till then and find out we were totally off. 1 Corinthians 3, verse 12. He says, if anyone builds on this foundation with gold or silver or precious stones or wood, hay, and straw, he says, each one's work or each one's life will become clear for the day will declare it because it will be revealed by the fire of God. Verse 14, if anyone's work which he has built on it endures the fire, it endures that test of the fire of God, that individual will receive a reward. Verse 15, if anyone's work or anyone's life is burned, that individual will suffer loss. He says he will be saved, yet so as through fire. It really does matter the way you live. It says some will be tested by the fire and they will receive a reward. Some will be burned by the fire and suffer loss. Sort number one in the passage. The first sort he mentions is gold and silver and precious stones. Think about those elements. Those elements are mostly deep in the earth. Those elements have to be mined. They have to be sought out. For anyone to possess those elements, you're talking a lot of time, a lot of resource, a lot of commitment, hard labor, difficult lifestyles. You know, the other sort is wood, hay, and straw. It takes nothing to possess those elements. Those are elements that exist on the surface of the earth, and it takes little or no work at all to go and possess those elements. He's comparing a very focused lifestyle in the grace of God as far as going hard up to the Lord and, and, and finding the treasures of God to a lifestyle of laziness. With what sort have you been building your life? We want to build our life in God as if we were mining for gold and silver and precious stones. That sort will endure the fire of the test of God. And there are eternal rewards waiting for you forever for the way you stewarded your time and speech and money on this side of time. Proverbs 19, 21. It says, there are many plans in a man's heart. It says, nevertheless, the Lord's counsel, that will stand. The fear of the Lord leads to life.